Hey there, champions. Welcome back to another Read Aloud. We're back with Judy B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. We're on chapter seven and it's called Peaky Holes and Spying. Here we go. After a while, I started to get a little bit thirsty. That's what happens when chalk sprinkles get in your throat. I would like a drink of water, I think, I said. Then I put my hands on my hips. Yeah, only what if somebody sees you at the water fountain? Then they might call the stupid smelly bus to come get you, and so you better not go. I stamped my foot. Yeah, only I have to go, because there's dumb chalk in my throat. Then all of a sudden, I got a great idea. I pulled a chair over, the, over to the door, and I peeked out the window at the top. I'm a good peeker. One time, I peeked right into Grandpa Miller's mouth when he was sleeping, and I saw that dangly thing that hangs down in the back. I didn't touch it, though, because I didn't have a little stick or anything. That's why. Anyway, I didn't see anybody in the hall, and so I opened the door a crack, and then I sniffed. Because when you sniff, you can smell if there's people around. I learned sniffing from my dog, Tickle. Dogs can smell everything. People can mostly just smell big things. I'm sorry, big smells like stink and flowers and dinner. Nope, don't smell anyone, I said. Then I ran to the water fountain and I, got a, I drank for a long time. And nobody tapped me and said, hurry up, girl. After that, I stood on my tippy toes and I tippy toed to the media center because I love that place, remember? The media center is kind of like a fort. The shelves are like walls and the books sort of like bricks. And you can move some of them around and make peaky holes. Peaky holes are what you spy out of. Then if you see somebody coming, you can make your breath very quiet and they won't find you. I spied for a long time, but nobody came. The only people in the media center were just me and some fish. The fish were in a big glass tank. I waved at them in there. Then I stirred them with a pencil. <laughs> Do you think that was a good idea? Probably not. I love fish very much. I eat them for dinner with coleslaw. This girl is so silly. Just then, I saw my most favorite thing in the whole world. Its name is an electric pencil sharpener and it was sitting right on the librarian's desk. Hey, I said, very excited. I think I know how to work that thing. Then I looked in the desk drawer and guess what? There were lots of brand new pencils in there. What do you think she's gonna do? Make a prediction. Hmm. And so I sharpened them. Is that what you predicted? Yeah. It was funner than anything because an electric pencil sharpener makes a nice noise and you can make pencils as teeny as you want. You just keep pushing them into that little hole and they just keep on getting teenier and teenier. It doesn't work on crayons though. I tried a red one. Then the pencil sharpener slowed way down and then it made a rrr, rrr sound. And after that, it didn't go anymore. Just then I heard a noise. It was walking feet and it made me scared inside because I didn't want anyone to find me, that's why. And so I squatted way down and looked through my peaky hole. Do you want to see the picture? There she is. I wonder who's there. Then I saw a man with a trash can. He was singing somewhere over the rainbow. That's a song I know. It's from my favorite movie, which is called The Wizard of Odds. The man with the can didn't see me. He walked down the hall. Then I heard him go outside. I stayed squatted down for a long time, but he never came back. Whew, that was a close one, I said. And so then I ran to find a better place to hide. And that is the end of chapter seven. I hope you enjoyed that chapter. This Judy B. Jones is a silly little girl and she's, um, gosh, she's still hiding. Let's see what happens next. Chapter eight is called The Dangerous Nurse's Office. So we'll see what that's all about. I hope you enjoyed that chapter and I hope you have a wonderful night. Sleep well, sweet dreams, and I will see you all next time. Good night.